Okay, let's take this uh, 1996, <coughs> so one of the very last registered ones, I think. Mercedes W124 E220 Cabriolet for a spin. Turn the ignition on. All the warning lights come out the way they should. Yep. Starts nicely. Um, I did, according to the odometer, 65 miles on this yesterday. Nice 65 miles, actually, across country. Did the job um, very, very well. Into D. Takes up drive nicely. Off we go. Right. <coughs> what can we tell you about this? As I say, I did 65 miles on it yesterday. Um, drove as, well, drove very well. I mean, these W124s do. They're, they're built like the proverbial brick outhouse, shall we say, and um, perform accordingly. I've only just started this one up, so it's basically starting uh, from cold as we speak. Um, it's a 1996 registered one, E220, and as you write, blue, showing 147,000 miles. And what can we tell you about it? Engine starts on the button, there's no uh, misfiring, hesitancy, certainly no overheating. Uh, yesterday it was sitting at uh, a steady sort of 80, 90 degrees, which is about the middle mark on the, th on the um, temperature gauge on these, which is about right. Um, so motor-wise, it seems untemperamental. They are pretty, uh, pretty strong. These. Um, oops, that's a big hole in the road. Oil pressure sits perfectly as it should. It goes straight up to, to full pressure, as they should at um, when they're running. Gearbox is nice. Changes gear smoothly. You can see it's just clicking in and out quite happily there. Um, there's no real clonks, rattles, groans, bangs or shakes from the transmission at all. The only thing I, I did detect yesterday a couple of times just um, when uh, we, were, we were rolling was a sort of a slight um, occasional at sort of 55, 60 miles an hour, um, a slight vibration. Not through the steering wheel, it seemed to be sort of coming from down here, which is normally the... Um, the prop shaft couplings um, that, are, if you like, past the first flush of youth is quite a, um, a known thing on the, on these for for them to need replacement at some point. It's not doing it all the time. It's not doing it now. Um, but I did just notice a slight sort of uh, um, what's it wasn't even really a vibration, more sort of mm, 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 sort of. Uh, <laughs> I know that's going to sound strange on the video, but um, a slight harshness, should we say? occasionally but say so it's not doing it now we're doing 40 miles an hour we'll wait until we get out of uh, the urban zone then we can accelerate and see what it's like from there Put some lights on i think yeah accelerating up to normal speed now it's fine just bear in mind that, that you know, just occasionally you might get a slight uh, um, sort of rumbling from the prop shaft there, which I think it's normally the prop shaft couplings. Uh, what I was going to tell you about it: the brake pad wear warning light flickers very occasionally, so I suspect within the next uh, six months or so, it's going to need a new set of um, a new set of pads, probably on the front. Uh, brakes nicely though. Let's see if anybody behind me. In there. Unfortunately, there is somebody behind me at the moment, so I can't try the brakes out so, the way I would normally do. But it just uh, bumbles along quite happily. I'll ignore my phone for the moment. All the instruments all work. Um, twin airbags, uh, ABS, um, electric windows all round, heated seats, obviously power hood. Um, the heater all works nicely. Unusually for 124, the fan works on all its positions because quite often they pack up on these now at this age but uh, the heater was working beautifully yesterday. Electric mirrors. As I say, now this morning it feels perfectly smooth. Just a couple of times yesterday on my 60 mile, 60 mile run, I just felt a little sort of harshness from time, you know, a couple of times just when I was driving. may well have been the previous owner because he's uh, 
chap we got it from had um, medical problems. He said it hadn't been driven for a couple of months, and it's possible it was just uh, a slightly sticky brake occasionally. But uh, I don't know, whatever it was, it doesn't seem to be doing it now. But um, I don't want anybody to be disappointed, so we'll be putting it down in the description that uh, it has um, shuddered a couple of times, should we say. Actually, shudder, that's a good word for it. But otherwise, just gets on with it. Track's nice and straight, although the roads bend into the right. Yeah, no real problems there. I'll try on a slightly straight bit of road. Not many straight bits of road here, actually. Yeah, that seems to be absolutely fine. Steering was possibly two degrees off to the right. But there you have it. It, you know, it drives really well. Trundles along quite happily. They're not the fastest thing in the world, but they're built so well that you don't really mind. They're not sports cars. They're sort of big grand tours, if you like. Turn here. Try the brakes now, there's no one behind me. Yeah, pulls up square, no problem there. That's about it. My name's Simon, you can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk. End.